Hey bikes! Today we'll be looking at the one and only Wii. Your news starts now. Bonus night is today from 6.30 to 8. There will be fun games and prizes. Go check it out. The SHS Thespians are performing this weekend at 7 p.m. Tickets are $5. The Norse Nook will be open fifth period on Friday. Foothills Writing Project is hosting a three-day Words Matter writing camp for students interested this summer. The camp will take place from June 6th to June 8th from 1 to 4 at the Brown vs. Board of Education building. Applications can be found online and are due by May 4th. Driver's Ed starts June 4th. Cost is $175. Contact Mr. Tinsley for more information or enroll on the Driver's Ed Schoology page. Adidas Scholars Program hosts a six-week Summer Access Academy. Scholars will take a leadership studies and math course. The six credit hours go towards the KU graduation requirements and are covered by the program. See the Schoology Class of 2018 page for more information. After the break, we'll go to Mason for today's sports. Who are you? I'm a genie. You look like you need some fresh new gear. Where can I get all this gear? Well, Ethan, if you like some more fresh gear, make sure you stop by the North Snook this Friday, which is April 20th. What if I'm a girl? Don't vape, because you will get lung cancer and you will die. Don't vape in the classroom. Don't vape in the bathroom. Don't vape in the parking lot. Just don't vape, promise? Vaping may seem harmless, but it can lead many lasting effects, such as breathing problems, bloody sores, weakened immune system, and insomnia. Majority of teens don't know that most vape contains nicotine, which can lead to a potential drug addiction. Okay, everybody take some candy. No. <laughs> Remember to get your physical done at Cotton O'Neill on May 12th. The cost is $20. Baseball and softball play tonight, so make sure to go support them. That's all we have for today for sports. Let's go see Zara with the weather. Hey Mike's, here's your three-day forecast. Right now it's 54 degrees and tonight it'll be 61. We'll have highs in the higher 50s and lows in the 30s and 40s. Today it's Julian Solomita's birthday and National Gardening Day. Now back to your anchors. We talked to some people about the Wii in honor of the Labo coming out soon. Let's go learn more about it. Nintendo is a huge company in gaming from today and way back when they made their first NES. Recently they came out with a new gaming console called the Switch and in honor of the new Labo coming out next week, we're revisiting one of the most popular gaming consoles ever. We would like to play. The Wii was one of the first ever consoles to introduce motion controls, and it just so happens that this week is the 11 and a half birthday of the Wii. A lot of people may have grown up with this console, and some probably still have a few in their homes. We asked around to see what people's opinions were on the Wii. When did you first play the Wii? I started playing the Wii when I was 12 years old. Uh, probably when I was like four. Uh, probably like second grade. I was six when it happened. Um, I started playing the Wii when I was like 12 or 13. Yeah, 2009 maybe, something like that. I don't know. I'd say back when I was like six years old at my grandma's house, so I don't know what year that was. Do you still own or play a Wii? Um, I have no idea. We might own one. It's I have a Wii, but I don't play it. I own four. Yes, I still play the Wii. So now I own the Wii, but can I play it? No. I don't own one, but when I go somewhere where there is one, that's all me. We have a Wii. It probably hasn't been on, turned on in over two years, so yeah. I still own the Wii, but I do not play anymore. Oh, I play all the time. <laughs> I still own a Wii, but it's broken, but if it wasn't, I'd still play it. Absolutely, that is my jam. How did it impact your childhood? Um, I ended up getting PTSD. Um, I just played the game too much. Now I'm a little scared. I've always thought that 
my athleticism came from the Wii? Um, I guess I played with my brother, so relationships. What do you remember most about the Wii? I remember that I used to break down a lot and I had to chart, like keep getting batteries for my virtual controller. I remember all the ugly little Wii characters and playing all the Wii games, like the baseball stuff. Uh, me and my brother being very competitive against each other. Constantly falling off the tightrope game to my <laughs> death. Uh, crushing my brother and Mario Kart. Oh, snap. What's your favorite Wii game? Uh, Mario Galaxy. Mario Kart. Uh, Mario Kart. Mario Kart, even though I suck. Super Smash Brothers Brawl. Uh, Mario Kart. The step up game on Wii Fit. Mario Kart. Oh my god, Wii Sports. Wii Sports. Wii Sports. By the end of 2009, the Wii had more than 101 million units sold. The consoles broke sales records in a single month in the United States. Everyone had a Wii and their own custom Mii to play with. And who could forget the iconic Mii Channel song? Do, 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 do. <laughs> the Wii's popularity hasn't decreased since it came out 11 and a half years ago. Tune in next week when we discuss more about the new Nintendo Labo. Now back to your anchors. I think I still have a Wii. What was your favorite game? Oh, Mario Kart for sure. Mine was probably Hannah Montana, the movie The Game. <laughs> Alright, that's all we have for you today, today Vikes. See you next time.